So welcome back guys. It's been a hot minute, but I will never give up on this content because even if it touches just one person to me, it's worth taking the time to keep the channel up and to keep posting. Today I want to talk about how you can shift the energy of your entire day in just 60 seconds. So I did a quicker version of this over on my TikTok, but I like to create these longer version videos to give you more details and give you examples of how I've used these techniques in my own life. I've divided the 60 seconds into four sections or quadrants, well, 15 seconds for each activity. And by the end of the 60 seconds, you should be feeling at least a little bit better about your day. And because our lives are made up of moments, taking this moment and shifting it and then doing that over and over again will eventually change the entire trajectory of your life. So although this is how to switch your day around in 60 seconds, it's meant to be used anytime you just wanna shift the trajectory and put yourself in a more positive direction. First 15 seconds should be spent on accepting how you feel. Sometimes we get caught up in kind of being hard on ourselves about not feeling good, about being crabby or whatever. And so for the first 15 seconds, just tell yourself it's okay for you to have those feelings. It's my opinion that the full range of human emotion is appropriate. It's part of the human experience. We're not always supposed to be happy. Um, but if we've been in a funk and we're trying to shift that, the first step to shifting out of it is accepting where you are. So for the first 10 seconds or so, just remind yourself that it's okay and that whatever response you're having to the stimulus that you're taking in, whether that's social media, whether that's something that's happened to you in your life, or whether it's just been a bad day, it's normal for you to respond with certain emotions when you focus on certain things. Give yourself permission to have that experience, but then take those feelings and just imagine putting them in a box in your mind's eye, uh, picture a box, picture all the feelings, maybe name some of them like anger, sadness, shame, whatever it is, and put those feelings in a box, in your imaginary box, put it to the side for later. Say it's okay for these feelings to exist, they are valid, but let me put them in a box for later. And then for the last five seconds of that first 15 minute segment, I need you to breathe in all possibilities. So one thing I truly believe is that in any given moment, there are a million different possibilities that we can focus on. There are a million different ways that we can look at things. There are a million different things that can be true all at the same time. So when you breathe in all those possibilities, you expand your perception to be able to take in whatever you would prefer to focus on. So breathe in all the possibilities, remind yourself that they exist, and then deep breath out, breathe out what you wanna get rid of, those negative feelings, right? And just give yourself permission to return to this moment in a neutral state with a clean slate. Your negative feelings are in the box, you are here, open to all possibilities. So that's the first segment, first 15 seconds. So for the next 15 seconds, you're gonna give yourself a boost into focusing on something more positive. So you're going to pick whatever you can quickly think of in those 15 seconds that you're grateful for. Now, I did an exercise where I went through the book, The Magic by Rhonda Byrne, and that is 28 days of focused gratitude with detailed instructions where you are journaling your experience but I can tell you that that transformed me. It brought me out of my first dark night of the soul. Um, and it, it pulled me up out of like a deep depression. So gratitude, although it seems cliche to say, just think about something you're grateful for, is truly transformative because it impacts our awareness. It causes us to, us to shift our focus from what we don't want to what we are happy already exists. So it's not even the same as affirmations or manifestations because we already have the thing that we're grateful for. So in this second 15 second segment, that was a tongue twister, um, just think of one thing you're grateful for. It could be as simple as, oh, the air conditioning is hitting today. Like I'm not hot at all. Or, you know, the sun is shining or I can breathe deeply. I had a cold two weeks ago and now I can breathe deeply. Like whatever comes to mind quickly, just bring it to your mind 
and then take 10 seconds to do that and at the last five seconds force yourself to smile so that muscle memory that kicks in when we smile actually has a biochemical effect on our body because when we smile it ties us back to memories when that smile was authentic I actually downloaded an app on my phone that was helping me with my habits for a while. And one of the things that I scheduled every day um, at 9 a.m., I think, and 3 p.m. was a forced smile. And anytime my phone would go off, this is the easiest habit to keep because I just looked at my phone and it said forced smile. And I would force myself to smile. And it was so impactful, a lot more impactful than I thought it would be. So for this segment, Force yourself to smile, force that muscle memory as you think about the thing that you've identified that you're grateful for. So now we get to the fun part. We've neutralized our negative emotions. We've put them in a box, scooted them to the side, opened our minds to possibilities. We have slightly shifted our mood by focusing on something that we are already grateful for. So we're already in the mindset and the energy of gratitude. Third, for the third 15 second segment, I want you to just quickly think of something that you want to experience, whether it be better friendship, something as general as that, or something specific like my current uh, manifestation focus, which is a new luxury vehicle. So I, I manifested one luxury vehicle and now I would like to manifest a new one. So think of something you want to experience and just let it s sit and then Think of one action that you can take to move you closer to having that experience. So for my example, I want a new luxury vehicle. Something I can think of that I can do like within the next 24 hours, you know, or immediately is pull up the prices for the cars that I want so that I can have an idea or pull up the locations for the dealerships that sell that brand of car. Something quick that will move me be that first step in the direction of having that experience. If it's having a good conversation with a friend, you know, if you don't have any friends, you could say, hey, I'm going to Google ways to make friends or I'm going to look into apps that connect me with others. Um, that's something you can do in the next 24 hours or it can be as simple as call a friend that you already have. So whatever it is that you've decided that you want to experience in your first 10 seconds in those last five seconds, think of the first thing that you can do. And lastly the last 15 seconds should be devoted to either making a plan to take the action whether that's just putting it on your to-do list or execute it immediately so if you can get up from wherever you're sitting doing this exercise and immediately perform the action whether it's just googling something or putting something on your calendar do it immediately after that 60 seconds is up you should feel at least a little bit better. This is not a cure-all. This is not going to transform your life, but it will take you from facing towards what you don't want to kind of shifting your focus to what you do want. And you can do it anytime and you can do it in 60 seconds. So to summarize, the four things you want to do in your 15 second segments for 60 seconds is number one, accept your negative emotions remind yourself that it's okay to have those negative emotions second you want to focus on gratitude you want to think about something you're grateful for and force a smile on that lovely face third you want to think about something you want to experience and come up with an action that you can perform within the next 24 hours to get closer to having that experience and finally, you want to go ahead and get up and either perform that action or put it on your to-do list or calendar or wherever you list your things to do for that following 24 hours. So I hope this was helpful, guys. If you want to have a nice place to document your manifestation, personal development journey, check out my Create Your Life journal, which is sold on Amazon you can access it using the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching.